You said you'd be there for me In times of trouble when I need you when I'm down What up fools, Plox Easy here bringing you a little tutorial Actually my first tutorial on this account and to everyone who's been following me I'm sorry I've been making so many YouTube channels But this is my main one so Don't get too upset please Okay anyway so I'm going to show you how to properly get your JTAG set up after you've had it modified and after you've updated it with Freeboot to 9199. If you haven't done that yet, I suggest you go and do that. I am not going to make a tutorial on it because it's pretty straightforward. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to need XE, XEX Loader. Sorry. What XEX Loader does is it's pretty much your whole hard drive. Uh, it allows you to have flash drives that the 360 doesn't allow so as you can see here here's all my flash drive with my modified patches a bunch of other modified files my key vault and all that and it lets you browse your hard drive right now I have Modern Warfare 2 backed up to my hard drive so I can just copy and paste the patch into it to make the modified files okay so let's go ahead and show you how to get XEX loader on your 360. Alright so now what you need is a transfer cable to use for your 360 hard drive and you're also going to need XEX loader and export 360. Okay so now that you have all that if you're using Windows 7 or Vista right click on export 360 and click run as admin. Yes. It'll load up ask you for the hard drive Okay, now since I already have XEX loader on here, I am not going to do it, but what you want to do is click device 1, go to partition 3, go to, sorry, go to content, and then click on the profile that you're using. So the first profile would be mine, and then what you want to do, you'll notice in the XEX loader, there'll be a folder like this take the whole folder and just drop it in your profile uh, you gotta turn off user or UAC control to drag and drop things in here I don't know why but yeah you do that and it's right here yeah it's weird I know and then after you have that you load up the 360 and then if you go over to game library you'll have it right there so let's go back over to the 360 and I'll show you how to load up lobbies for Modern Warfare 2. Okay, so now that you're back on the 360, head over to Game Library after you sign in, of course. Go to lame, sorry, Game Library, then XEX Loader. Now right here where it shows Modern Warfare 2 and Sniper, there won't be anything there for you until you back up the game so what you want to do is create a folder under HDD1 and just name it games if you're done that then name a folder Modern Warfare 2 and then w once you do that all you do is press Y and then copy d DVD your DVD drive will open you pop in the game and it'll start to copy so n now to make modded lobbies I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because it takes more work than what you think but pretty much what it is is the patch mp.ff file that's where you insert all the codes to do through the lobbies infections all that mine's all the way to the bottom so one right here so what you want to do is after you edit it with ff viewer on the computer or if you find a pre-made patch like do it's Brian or K Brizzle. Put it on the USB drive. Press X. Select USB zero, and then go to patch. Then copy it. Hard disk drive one. Go to games. Modern Warfare two. Hit Y and press paste. It'll ask you to overwrite this crap. Confirm. And then while you're in this folder still, press right button. And default underscore MP dot XEX. That's Xbox 360 executable. That's for multiplayer. The regular default is just for uh, single player. And one thing you should know is you need to patch the XEX files before you load up the custom made patch. 
because if you don't, you'll get a disk read error. Uh, Pre-patched ones can be easily found on, on the site. Uh, if you look down in the description below, I'll give you a link to one that I patched, the same one that I'm using that allows you to run modified files and do negative XP lobbies. Not everyone will be able to do. Not everyone will be able to join your lobby unless they have a JTAG. If they try to join when you have negative XP on, it'll boot them for security reasons. That's how they patch the online lobbies, which are fucking funny. Anyways, default MP.XEX. Uh, the current patch I have on right now is a patch in progress. Currently, it just has infections and level 70. So what you want to do is go to System Link, uh, create a game, Let's do a quick game on Rust. Xbox Live unlocks mean if it's turned on, then your lobby counts towards your online stats. So if you want to change your stats, if you want to unlock everything, if you want to get to level 70, then that, that this must be on. If it's off, you can only spread infections. I like to keep it off when I'm only getting infections just in case I don't do anything wrong. The last time I kept it on, for some reason my patch made my main account Prestige 8 level 70 from Prestige 7 level 70. I don't know why, it really pissed me off. But yeah, let's keep that off for now. Start game. If you guys want me to show you how to create a custom patch, just leave some feedback and I'll make a tutorial on that. There we go. Yeah, I know my UAV is pretty huge. Uh, I like it that big. I play on a 25 inch monitor, but it looks just, it just looks awesome. You can see reload blanks blue and red. And there you go. So if you have any questions, leave some comments. And if you want me to make any more tutorials on how to make something, just leave comments below. Peace.